this video, I'm going to be going over one of my favorite tags for the mesh concept in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If that's your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden players that they could possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now in this video, the specific tag is a way that you could run the mesh concept to be able to be very effective against man-to-man -man coverage. Again, this is very specific. We want to be calling this concept if we think our opponent is in man-to-man -man coverage. Really, really important that you keep that clarity and that specificity because um, you really want to be understanding why you're calling these tags. Why do we adjust things? Why do we change? It's really important that we change out of intentionality, not just out of change for change sake. And so uh, we're going to be going over the basic mesh and then we're going to go over the tag. So if I go to the spread Y flex here, you're going to notice that if I come out in this mesh play, you're going to see that if I come out in cover to man, by and large, we're going to be pretty decently bagging this entire concept. So you'll see right here, the corner route on the right doesn't really get open against man. It does, but it's not a good look. It's probably a click on swat or pick. So that route doesn't get that open against man. The next thing we're going to see is that this out route on the left side, it kind of gets open against man. But remember, this is a short side out route. I don't think short side out routes are that useful. I mean, they are, but they aren't. And uh, let me show you this again. So here you see press animation. And that actually beats it. But I honestly think that's because of Mike Evans. With his beat the press animation, he's going to get much more open against this. Let me show you to it one more time. And there's that press win again. And as you see, this is mainly due to his beat the press. But he is beating man-to-man -man coverage. His 5 to 10 yard out route is doing a good job of beating man-to-man. -man. The other thing is these mesh routes. You're going to see they're going to get jammed. And they do beat man, but they beat man kind of later in the play, they're really not a quick throw. Um, and so this is going to create kind of a problem because um, what you're going to notice is the more you play people who run man-to-man, -man, you're going to see that these press animations can really cause some problems, even if they, especially if they do something like this, where they send the house at you. So we're going to blitz six out of this look, and now you're going to see, okay, I've got to throw quick, and now I'm out, based off the way the play works, I'm only really going to be able to throw, you know, to the user. So, how do we tag the mesh concept? To basically, take the same concept, but get it to where it can really beat man-to-man -man coverage. Well, what I like to do is I first, first and foremost, I love to use the hot route master. The reason I like the hot route master is it just gives us routes that are really, really good um, for beating man to man. So one of the things I like to do out of this is I like to basically create um, a motion snap. So the first way we can do this is by simply motioning that corner route into a post route by motioning to the left and then just put our running back on a table route. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create this natural three by one man switch that's gonna happen so that we can hit our running back against pretty much any defense. Really quickly, I wanna just go over this by taking this guy and putting him in coverage. And now I wanna show you this right here because this is what you're gonna look like. This is what the defense is gonna do. Um, they're going to not, they're not gonna put their middle linebacker in man to man coverage. That's gonna be their user. And so what you get is you get this nice little man beater on the outside. The other thing that you get um, that I love about this play as far as how you can beat man-to-man -man coverage out of a mesh concept is you have to understand that mesh is simply double drags. So um, obviously if you don't use the actual mesh route, um, you're not going to be able to settle up in zone coverage. But if you know it's man-to-man -man coverage, it, to me it doesn't make a ton of sense as to why we need to run the mesh routes. The mesh routes are really, um, the stock routes are really designed more for a zone. And so what that allows me to do is it allows me to motion snap the mesh, which is really, really cool. So what we can do with this is we can actually motion snap a mesh. So I could run that same table route. I'm gonna put Gronk on a drag, put Brown on a drag, just like this. And then what I can now do is create mesh post out of three by one. So I've got my post, that's gonna beat man to man. And then I've got my double drags, but one of them is a motion snap drag that's not gonna get jammed. And so it's gonna get open really quick over the middle. And as you can see, I'm able to beat the coverage. This is another little way that you can run the same basic principle. And if you wanna keep that other receiver, um, if you wanna keep Gronkowski on his route, 
then you can basically do this right here. So now your out route, is it'll beat man coverage. Your post route will beat man coverage. And then that motion drag. Another thing that you can do with the drag, and this is, again, it's very specific to man coverage, is you can actually turn this into a slant. Why would you turn it into a slant? The reason I like to turn this into a slant is because I know it's man-to-man -man coverage and it's still gonna be attacking kind of the same pocket of the field. As you can see right there, he's able to beat man-to-man -man coverage to that side and we're able to get an easy tag off of the same basic concept that's going to do really, really well. Another thing that I like to do is if they're starting to send some pressure, or I might be anticipating that there's going to be pressure. One of the things that you're going to notice is the X receiver is unbumpable, meaning he's not going to get jammed if I, if I run him on a route. So I can put this X receiver on pretty much anything that I want. So one of the easy little things that I like to do um, that I really like to do out of this is put Evans on a skinny post, put the X on a corner route, drag the circle receiver, and then... Um, Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And then uh, just put the back on a table route. So now I've got the same concept, but now what I've got is I've got several, several really, really powerful routes. Of course, Brady totally fell apart there, didn't get the ball off, but I had my post for a one-play touchdown. This is going to this is gonna be really good. This The second setup that I gave, gave you is going to be really, really good against the Blitz. And the reason why it's going to be so good against the Blitz is because this running back route is going to be mismatched. He's going to be matched up. Um, because we're running that strong side flood just like that. You've got this quick snap throw. If they blitz a linebacker, throw it to the back. Throw it to the back. Throw it to the back. Now, let's say, for example, they might do something like this to try to get their man-to-man -man coverage to be a little, little bit more successful. They maybe stand kind of right in here just to try to get this coverage um, to be a little bit better. And if they do something like that, that's where I really like this smart routed skinny post. Just pass it to the inside, and as you can see right there, you're gonna be able to beat press man-to-man -man coverage. If you wanted to, if you were in a really desperate situation and you really needed to get the get the, the ball off or get some blitzing type of situation, one of the little things that you can also do is you can use, um, and I wouldn't wanna attack the middle of the field, but what you could what you could do is you could also put the square receiver on a five step slant or a four like three to five step slant right there. Just quick throw right in the in that pocket. The one thing I don't like about that is if they jam that that triangle receiver, then you're gonna see we're gonna get that adjustment. The other thing you can also do is as you can notice here, I can motion this triangle receiver to get him off the jam. So this is another little tactic that I'll use if I wanted to run mesh out of three by one. So this is another really easy tag that you could do. It's just simply a motion snap. So all I'm going to do um, is I'm simply going to take, I'm gonna run double drags just like we do. And then you're gonna see here that I'm gonna run into three by one. And now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be running this concept right here. This is one of my favorite little routes. Why? Because we get this triangle receiver unbumped and he's gonna be able to easily uh, roast the man-to-man -man coverage. So those are a couple of little bitty things that you can do from your mesh concept to be able to make this a really good route combo against man to man. I think the double drags needs to be effective. It is effective in this game. And this is a simple way that you can make it effective. You can even do something as simple as this. This is one little tactic that I've actually started to do. If is, is I'll motion like this and then I'll just quickly reset the play. And then when he comes across, I'm just jamming the snap button. You see here, it gets him unbumpable and now he's not gonna be able to get jammed and we're able to get him going, okay? So those are really easy ways to beat the mesh or beat the, uh, or beat the, um, draw a blank here, beat the, beat the coverage. Now, if they run shaded up coverage, let's say they're sending pressure and they're running shaded up coverage, then this triangle route should get open on the cut, right there, easy read, easy money all day long. And one of the things I also like to do out of this is I love, love, love to do things like this, run a five or a, um, a smart routed out route to the circle with that post route to Evans. This is another good concept and another good tag. And the reason why I like this so much is it's really, really good spacing. It's gonna be able to beat every coverage. The best way to stop a out route in Madden is to play cover two. But if they play cover two against, a, against this concept right here, and again, this is, you know, honestly, I really do love this motion snap. And I want to encourage you to do this motion snap because this little motion snap right here is so good. It's just going to get you off the jam. It's going to get that mesh a free release over the middle of the field. But as you can see, if they run Tampa 2, now I can throw over the top with that skinny post route. So these are a couple of tags that you can use whenever your opponent is running a lot of too high and a lot of man-to-man -man coverage 
to really make a big difference in your mesh game. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my full air raid offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. I think it's going to be one of the best offenses that you've ever discovered. This offense is a lot of fun to run, and it's also very effective in Madden. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up via text.